I got the knife, I got the rod, and I got tinder. Everything's all ready to go. The great thing about having it taped on, when I want to start a fire, right? now I can make my sparks like this. We've got all this control. And if I set this down to start messing, fumbling with the fire, stoking the fire, I'm not going to lose this. <laughs> hey, it's Greg here with Outdoors on the Cheap. And I thought I'd do a video on attaching ferro rods to knife sheaths, both in this, in the case where you've got a hard sort of plastic knife sheath, and also uh, a leather knife sheath, because the concerns are different, and I'll get into that as we go along. Well, let's first start off with hard plastic. So with hard plastic, as long as you've got something, something like a something knobby at the end, right? You can have like this one here, or you can put uh, just just wrap uh, electrical tape around it over and over again until you get a nice little nub. That's just to give you something to hang on to. But it also helps to stay right, in the sheath, right? So you've got uh, this here. I've just got a piece of inner tube rubber, and I jam that in there, right? So you need to take that out. For that matter, you can attach things behind. Like here, I've got some wax paper. I've done lots of videos how easy it is to start uh, wax paper using a ferro rod. Right, it's just a great fire kit, sort of self-contained, right? I got the knife, I got the rod, and I got the uh, the tinder. Everything's all ready to go, right? So that's a good little kit, okay? Uh, but another way to come at it, like I have here, uh, with this sort of setup, to use the ferro rod, I have to I have to take it out, right? I got to take it out to use it, which means I can set it down and lose it, <laughs> which is the worst, right? That's all you've got, right? So another type setup that I think is really useful for the hard case um, is to have the rod electrical taped onto the case. Okay, I got a little bit of rubber here. That's just a you know a little extra stabilization, right? That can come off as a great fire starter. You get get this stuff burning, it'll burn like a candle for a couple minutes, right? Because it's got all that you know, tire type stuff in it, right? So elastic band's a great sort of uh, fire helper, <laughs> right? Um, not very environmentally good, but right, right? But so the great thing about having it taped on is that when I want to start a fire, right? I'm not gonna, I'm indoors right now, but. I can use this, right? It gives me a really nice, safe way. I came up with this idea when I was trying to teach my kids how to start fire, because I'd see them holding a ferro rod in their hands and they have this knife so close, right? And I was so worried about them cutting themselves and I thought, well, how about we got a nice big handle, right? Now I can make my sparks like this. You've got all this control. Your hand is far away from the knife. And if I set this down to start messing, fumbling with the fire, stoking the fire, I'm not going to lose this. <laughs> and by the way, it's just, if you're going to buy a knife, a bushcraft knife, you know, buy one you can't lose. <laughs> it's a great color for a bushcraft knife. That's why I got it from, from my son, right? Uh, but I mean, this is like my preference for everything. All my knives out, like this, this is a beautiful wooden knife. But look, I got a little yellow electrical tape wrapped around in here, and then I painted the end red so it can't get lost. Right, but anyway, so that's a good little system, right? Also, you can have the wax paper attached to the back. And for that matter, I mean, let's just undo this here and I'll show you. Um, there's no reason that wax paper can't be a bit of a survival kit. I mean, if you were in a in a um, in a bind and you need to light a fire really fast, you just cut it off. Who cares, right? But if you got a couple seconds, uh, take that off because you're in the woods. What material can you find that behaves like electrical tape? You can use it for a band-aid, you can use it to attach things, right? It's just so handy, right? Um, anyway, we pull that off, right? Set that aside. And now here, look what I've got in here. Just, just give you some ideas. I mean, this whole thing can be a kit, right? That's always on your knife. So as soon as you put your knife around your neck, you've got all this extra stuff. But here, yes, I've got wax paper, which is a great fire starter, right? But in here, I could have a couple band-aids. I could have lots of different things. I've got, um, I got a, a, wing, a hand span of fishing line and a small hook. That's not a lot of fishing line, but if you've ever uh, gone fishing for smaller fish, when you're in a survival situation, um, you know, you're not trying to catch, uh, you know, you know, <laughs> depends on the situation, but I mean, you're living off whatever you can find. If you've got a seven, eight foot long uh, sapling, 
and you attach six feet of string to that and you have some sort of bait on a hook, you can catch something with that. If there's fish around, you can catch them with that, right? Um, you know, that's, that's a tight situation. Also in there, I've got uh, a needle, right? I got a little piece of tape around the end just to keep it from sticking through. Also helps you find the needle, right? Comes off no problem. Very handy to have a needle. It's basically, what can you find in a forest that's like a needle? Nothing, right? <laughs> so just a couple little ideas. I mean, you know, I've never, I've never found myself in a situation where I needed to use any of this stuff. Uh, but you get out in the woods and you play with it and you, you know, you take apart your little survival kit and you try to use the, the hook to catch some fish. I actually have used a needle to get shards, you know, like little slivers of uh, wood out of my fingers and stuff like that. It can be handy for things like that, but I've never had to, you know, Rambo sew myself back up using my hair, <laughs> that sort of thing, right? Um, so that's a good setup. You've got the hard case, right? That setup or just the rubber, okay? Um, but when you have a leather case, uh, the problem with um, just using rubber around it, like if you attach the ferro rod using rubber bands is that it pushes in on the, on the on the leather and what it prevents you from doing when it, when you've got the ferro rod on there and you've got the rubber band pushing it together is that it keeps the knife from coming out easily right? well how how a, a knife should work is that you push the thing in and it stays in really well but it should be that with one hand you can get the knife out because you got something in your other hand for, for anything. A pocket knife, I should be able to open it with one hand. And with for me, with a neck knife, you should be able to get the knife out with one hand. Right? There's a lot of situations where that's really handy. Uh, not the least of which if the hand is disabled. Right? But it's just, if you, if you do things in the woods where you have to use a knife a lot, you will find it extremely irritating if you have to use two hands to put the knife in and take it out of your sheath. And what you'll end up doing is putting your knife down a lot to get at it easily instead of putting it back in the sheath when you're not using it. Should be that you use it, put it in the sheath when you're not using it, take it out of the sheath when you need it. Not lay it down on the ground, not do stupid things like hold it in your mouth or whatever. Lay it on the ground, you're going to lose it. Hold it in your mouth, you might get an injury you <laughs> did not anticipate. Anyway, the problem when you uh, attach the ferro rod to the leather case with elastic bands is that it pins the knife down and makes it very difficult to get it out, right? And, and when you're putting it back in, it could actually pierce the leather. So you don't want that. So the solution is just like I showed you um, with the plastic one with the tape, where you, you tape it on, okay? Like, you, you know, you can you could tape on the wax paper behind and you've got it in an emergency for starting fires and whatever else you you've put in there right but also you find that if you tape of course this tape doesn't want to come free today and you notice i like using um colored tape it just makes i mean i don't understand why they make knives like this where the knife is brown and the case is brown right yeah i see all kinds of uh, guys on facebook and they got a picture of their knife by the case on a piece of wood or a rock by a stream. I don't know what they're trying to prove. Like We take these things in the woods to use them. And if you lose it, it's useless. Useless. Um, so for me, everything should be an outlandish color. And the knife should have an outlandish color on the handle. right? So you don't lose it. Right. Um, anyway, so you'll notice I don't care what these things look like. I'm not in a fashion. This isn't a fashion show for me. This is uh, ideal, you know, at the, at the very least a practical thing and at the very worst a life and death type thing. Right. So I don't care what it looks like or what other bushcraft guys think of me. OK, so I got the knife in there. I always do this with the knife in nice and tight. Right. And then I've got this put down here hanging quite well below. It doesn't matter. I mean, I stuff this half in my shirt when I'm in the bush anyway, right? And then I can wrap the tape around it. Not too tight, right? That's key thing here. Not too tight, because again, we'll have that same problem as with the elastic band. Okay, so we're not, we're not going tight. What we're doing is making sure that the, the ferro rod is, is thoroughly 
um, secured. All right, so it will not move and will not come loose. We can always take it off if we need to, right? You get a few good wraps on there, right? That just means you're going to have more more electrical tape when you're out in the woods. So you got more of a useful resource. Um, great band-aid in a pinch, right? Snip that off. All right. So now that, that ferro rod is never going anywhere because I got that nice little thing on the end, right? A little nub. And I'll show you an easy way to do that. It's never going anywhere. When I need to use it, I can just work it like that, right? I got that option. Right? Um, and I'm not going to lose the ferro rod because even though it's attached to my brown forest colored case, I've got this garish red electrical tape, which I got at a dollar store, right? So that's handy. Um, we're putting a little uh, nub on the end. I mean, this is easier than you might think. It's handy to, uh, you can see here, I've sort of scuffed this up with a file at the very end. Just helps to stick to the tape, right? You don't want to lose all your real estate. So I sort of put, put it sort of two thirds, two thirds towards the end, right? And then wrap it real tight, really tight. So you're, you're pulling into the elasticity of the tape. You can see I've, I've gone past the end, right? And just wrap that around uh, until you can feel a noticeable lip right? Just gives your finger something to hang on to because you've got a little edge there where your fingers can't slide past the end. So for me, a millimeter is all that's needed, like a sixteenth of an inch, right? Just cut that off. Tie that up. Right, and then with the knife, just cut that end off. All right, so then we got a nice a little bit there, but now it fits in my hand. I can hold it really, really well, right? And that way, when you've got it taped on, there's just there's just something there to fetch up, so it won't slip down through, right? Or if you were attaching with elastic bands, you just got something at the end there that won't, won't you know? It'll, it'll grab whatever you're holding it the knife with. Right. So now I got this nice setup where I got the the knife. It's easy to get at. I can take it out, put it back in with one hand, right? Right, if I give it a good tap, I'm going through some rough brush, it's not gonna fall out, it's gonna stay in there. Right, I got the ferro rod right there, ready to use. Right, if I need to make a fire, I can just take this off. I'm not gonna lose the ferro rod, right? For me, that's a great way to attach a ferro rod to a knife sheath. There's there's a handful of knife sheaths that come with the ferro rod attached to them, but then you're stuck using the knife that they come, won't come with, and that knife might not be the knife you want, right, for whatever your needs are, right? So with this sort of system, you can use whatever knife you like that works, feels and works the way you want it to work, and you can always have your ferro rod, right? And, you know, a handy means to start a fire with you know just attached to the knife so you're making that knife just so much more so versatile and useful and handy in a pinch so anyway just a quick video on attaching ferro rods to knife and a little extra content there <laughs> uh, pet peeves and uh, survival tips and that sort of thing i hope you found that interesting if you did please like share subscribe and until next time enjoy the outdoors on the cheap thanks for watching